Hello everyone, my name is Story Weaver. <coughs> and I'm coughing like up a storm over here. But, welcome back to a new series on the channel. Now, this might be different because of this. And what do you guys gotta say for yourself? This, this is heresy. I scum of no prisoners for the Emperor! Ah! Great. Uh, again, can't deal with those two. But, um... This is something I wanted to check out for a long time because some of my uh, favorite reactors one at the moment is reacting to this and it's a very long series and we're getting a lot of awesome content. This is If the Emperor Had a Text of Speech Device by Abusa, App Abusa, I think that's how you pronounce their name. Like I said, I'll get more acclaimed when I watch more of their content. Uh, today's episodes, I'm doing three. Uh, they're all really short, especially episode two, which is like two minutes long, so I thought I would just throw that in there as a bonus. Uh, so three episodes a day. Most likely we do two episodes on Wednesdays unless there's like a shorter episode. And I'll toss it in there because why not. Uh, but the, the first, uh, these episodes, I just caught a glimpse of them. I don't really know their names off the top of my head. I think they were uh, Adorable Custodian, so, um, Religion Archie, or Religion, um, something like that. And then uh, our, uh, uh, Age of the... Uh, what's it called? Age of the... Let me look it up real quick. Age of... Age of... Age of Apostasy. There it is. I just had to look up that title because I was making stuff up, I think. But these are the titles. I don't know them offhand. I just caught a glimpse of them when I downloaded the videos off of YouTube. So, without further ado, the link will be in the description if you want to go check this content out. If you're a Warhammer fan like me. Some of the stuff I might get, some of the stuff I won't get. Some of the lore is over my head and some I might get. Without further ado, let's see what's, you know, good about the series and why everyone enjoys it. They're Warhammer fans. Let's begin. Play. There you go. Nice. Alright, cool. I mean, my mic. I don't know if you can hear me. There's like the custodian. And uh, that's just Mechanicus. Mechanicus. It appears to be functioning properly, unlike your feeble No, that, that's the Mechanicus. You can't have his flesh. You can have my flesh. What? And I shall be the first to speak with him. Good for you. You oh, always just speak to the glorious Emperor. No, no, no. don't. Don't think you can take off your armor. I think it's heresy. Why aren't those stats you promise that? Alright, let's go. Well, my divine lord, we have managed to implement a text to speech device to your glorious golden throne. Please, lord, speak to us. <laughs> oh, here we go. About fucking time. At last! Our glorious lord can command us once again! I have so many things to complain about. First oh, no. of all, why do I only have a fucking glass eye on one of my eyes? Is that you really necessary? Eyes, and what is with these ultra smurfs that I keep hearing? <laughs> the about? ultra smurfs, yes. Oh, oh yes, um, the, uh, the ultramarines, wait, let's go. Are you referring to the ultramarines? Oh my lord! They are some of your greatest warriors. Well, that certainly fucking explains it. It seems like their baby blue heraldry have earned them a most righteous nickname. For that matter, I always thought they looked terrible. Do they still have that fucking toilet seat as their insignia? <laughs> well, yes, they do. Yeah, toilet they keep seat. The on their oh well, all right then. I always thought he was the greatest of my twenty Primarch sons. Well. That's hmm. excellent. My the lord. greatest Makes derivative sense. pile of blueberry pudding pop fuckery that has ever glazed the surface of this <laughs> wow. galaxy. Uh, oh. Is he still alive? Barely. He was almost killed. He's currently in status back in the old Marine's home world of a crowd. Cut his life supports and tell that stupid wow. fucking Smurf village to fuck right off. Their constant wow. uninterrupted chatting wow. is drilling into my skull as if they were the immensely sanctimonious oh, love poor, child of poor Tavis and players. the Jack Cam. Poor players. Oh my god. The pain of a million ripped out nose hairs are but a tender massage compared to this inexpressible ultra torture. Um, well, I'll see what I can do. 
convince yourself how a mighty Grey Knights. I never created anything called Grey Knights. But, but, Lord, they are the greatest of Persian demons in the Imperium. They're all psychers, and they come up with the most glorious wow. ways of killing the enemies of man. Why at the few you you bring in the Dread Knights? Oh right. greetings, my glorious Emperor. It is an honor. Oh myself. What the fucking fuck? Oh myself. <laughs> it is the mighty Dread Knights. That is the worst thing that I have ever fucking seen ever. If I still had eyes, I would require someone to deposit You have one eye. It's a glass eye, though. To them. Well, what terrible, Lesson's terrible eye. person designed this? The arcane technology of this marvelous machine was discovered by the Grey Knights and is held secretly from all inferior Astartes chapters. We are the mob! The exterior design, I believe, wow. is to be personally designed by the Grand Master of the Grey Knights himself, Caldor Dragon. He is the mightiest of the Grey Knights. He is currently stuck in the warp, killing demons daily, pillaging demonic villages, and vandalizing the Chaos Gods' property like some kind of glorious rascal. He has nice. even written a name on a demon Primarch's heart. For the love of all stop signs in the galaxy, seize and wow. fucking desist. What in the fuck? That is actually very cute. Look at its little legs and oversized body. Adorable. Come to Papa, you. What? Wait, no! Don't! Yes. This oh is fun, Tommy. Well, my lord. I don't know about you, but. I feel this is the start of something absolutely glorious. Shut your face, you fucking banana. Yes, I will. Wow. The gods in your world order. We are the soldiers in the Legion of Light. We are the center to death of the nice. sun. Fire banana. and flame. We are one. We are so, right, let me get this straight. It has been 10,000 years since my angsty asshole of a son Horos made me a paraplegic and put on this throne. Yes. That is correct, my lord. Yes. How the fuck did you all survive for 10,000 years without me around? Well, my lord, the Imperium has safely uh, preserved your teachings and followed it for all these years, always submitting to your superior will. That's a relief. For a second I thought you guys would have turned into some giant megalomaniacal group of religious people running around killing each other in the name of some well, fictional deal or something like that. Uh, oh no, of course oh, not, my wow. lord. We would never stoop so low. The only one we would ever worship is the one true god of all is you, of course. Everything else is heresy. Are you fucking serious? What is upsetting you, almighty god emperor of mankind? I knew this would fucking happen. Oh my lord, you don't have yeah. to worry about anything. The Ecclesiarchy and the Imperial Inquisition both make sure that the people of the Imperium retain their faith in you and you alone by making sure that no one knows about the corrupting powers of chaos. And if they somehow figure it out, we'll just exterminate the planet and it's all safe again. Uh, <laughs> they die. The Ecclesiarchy? Die. The Inquisition? Are you serious, damn it? He really well served on the way to Okay. Remember the Age of Strife? Um, aren't you referring to the Age of Apostasy, sir? No. The Age of Strife. Let me tell you. It was when asshole oh, nice. Cygers first started appearing, and all of asshole mankind started asshole fighting Sikers. each other over hey, asshole reasons. I like Cygers. I play a lot of Cygers. I destroyed Watch all asshole her. religions that existed on Wait. Terra. Do you want to know why? Because you are the one true god, my lord. Wrong. It is because religion is stupid, superstitious, brainwashing crap that makes you into an asshole. This is why I specifically nice. said when designing the Imperial Truth that equality, science, and galaxy conquests is the way to go, and religion needs to be thrown out a window. But, but, but my lord, what about the Lectito Divinitatis? Telling us that you are our one true god. That was written by my whiny bitch of a son, Lurgar, who later decided to dress up wow. in spikes, scarlet red armor, worship some dark gods, and be really fucking edgy. Stupid, rebellious teenage yes. faces. Ah, well, I see, my lord. Now, where is my Centurion? Yes, this is true wow. happiness. <laughs> so, what is this wow. age of apostasy that you mentioned? The Imperial Fist? Um, well. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> Last episode of the day. Really? Y yes, my lord. This happened. On behalf of all mankind, I'm really <laughs> sorry, my lord. I truly am 
really sorry. Let one of those nutty cults gain a hold of mankind and grow to become a state religion of the Imperium. Yes. Becoming this fucking ecclesiarchy thing. And then, people start to cut their own fucking screen out, waving it around and throwing it at people, all in a pool of their own jizz and blood, to profess their love for me. I'm really sorry. And yes. Then, you let some power-hungry motherfucking bureaucrat become the master of both the administratum and that overly dominant ecclesiarchy grok shit, effectively controlling all our hot, leathery assassins from the Ephesio Assassinorum, and all asshole psychers in the Adeptus Astra Telepathica. Oh, and our flashlight guys as well. But, uh, and then, <laughs> flashlight guys. The Flashlights. Of that there we go, we gotta say it once, and, uh, and there's probably more than once. We're gonna... Flashlights are gonna come up more than once. Makes his bureaucrat balls tingle with delight, Stupid last guys. Initiating a massive, totally pointless purge of all mankind. And in addition, you did all this with the most evil fucking name I've ever heard. Goat Vandire. Seriously, how could you ever trust a guy with that name? G-O-G, yeah. Van Dyer. That name is just screaming I'm gonna take your eyes sockets and put my penis into them. I mean, fuck. Wow. Look, my lord. The events of the Age of Apostasy is all a great shame upon the Imperium, but he was brought to justice in the end! <laughs> Why, I was even there when it happened! Several Astartes chapter masters and the Mechanicus Fabricator General came around and told us what Van Dyer had been up to all this time. And then we helped out by conveying the truth of the matter to the leader of Van Dyer's bodyguards, the Bride of the Emperor, by directing her straight to you. Why, I remember it all like it was yesterday. Ah, oh, the sacred God Emperor himself, upon the golden throne of Terra. He is so beautiful. I have never seen anything as graceful and bewitching in all my life. I know, right? And we get to clean his entire body several times a week. <laughs> Oh great! So I don't want to. I don't want to do that job. That right job now. with the. Uh, but I won't, so don't worry. Job teams, theory, theory, uh, no tedious. Right. Anyway, as you can see, you Van Dyer is the one you're supposed to be looking up to. He doesn't do anything. It's like falling to apart and power. dying. He is a madman. Be really and careful. his reign of blood must be stopped. Hey, <laughs> uh, are you even listening? Oh, no, she's focused on the emperor. The emperor has some body. Quite divine looking abs. Actually, those are just bones jutting out. But gosh. anyway, I know you have served Van Dyer for a long time, but his megalomaniacal ways must come to an end. Oh. Okay. Oh, all right. You have committed the ultimate cool heresy. Again. Not only have you turned your back on the emperor and stepped from his light, you have profaned his name and almost destroyed everything he has striven to build. You have perverted and twisted the path he has laid for mankind to tread. As your own decrees have stated, there can be no mercy for such right. a criminal. I renounce your lordship. You walk in the darkness and cannot be allowed to live. Your sentence has been long overdue, and now it is time for you to die. I don't have time right. to die. I'm too busy. <laughs> I don't have oh, time to die. I think I remember that too. Some girl came in here and stared at me with depraved, flustered eyes. If I had the proper bodily components left, I would probably have gotten a fairly insecure boner. That's the Adeptus Auritus for you! Wow. You haven't made female space marines, have you? Huh? Oh, I have not. No, that isn't even possible. Only don't think it's the artists of pen and parchment ever come up with something like that. Even yeah. Though I think it's more good. The Adeptus Astartes can only contain males. No girls allowed. They are yucky. What wow. Say, my lord? No girls allowed. They are yucky. Inquisition thing. Oh, Those are yucky, my guy. Go tell my fiance. Yeah, that was that. Really nice. See you guys at the outro. I guess you can call this. I think you can call this series uh, like a basically series. Like this is basically. It's gonna go over some lore that I don't know about, some characters I don't know about, like from like the stuff that I, like, we I don't have it, I haven't read like anything of the books. Mostly the stuff that I have learned is from YouTube videos and games and uh, mostly just playing the tabletop. I haven't read any of the books. I probably need to. It's probably gonna you know it'll probably help me if I read books. But there's like this whole bunch of like lore. The, the, you know, like, there's, like, five million books, probably even more than that, that I don't have 
really not much time to read. I wish I could read books, but, you know, I can't read it. But this might be a good idea for me to just get some of those characters that is mentioned in this series. Grab some mostly from other books. I can probably look up, like, their game lore, so they're all characters on the tabletop anyway. Look up just their basics and get something about it. I just know the general uh, lore. Uh, but yeah, this is probably going to get me enough through the series if there's any issues. Or if you guys have any comments, please, if I'm being an asshole or stupid, please tell me. I like to see it and, you know, I like criticism. I like talking to my, you know, commenters and things. If you have any questions or want to call me an asshole, go for it. Uh, but yeah, uh, this was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Remember, links are always down below. See you guys next reaction. Peace out. Bye. Remember to stay home and stay safe. And it's all your fault. You just had to ransack the royal fault, so it's payback. I'll y'all in default. First, everybody roll for decks. Next, reflect on your last respects. None of you pass the check. All of you feel the effect of the hex. Flex, that's the answer. Or did you forget that I'm a necromancer? Shatter in the neck of the blade dancer. Making a wreck out of the dragon lancer. Last chance to pray to the god of your choosing. And if you're fortunate, maybe you can get some mercy.